Next you would learn how to add sounds to your game. So when we take a look at a game, every time I click on this yellow ball, it should make a sound that I clicked on it. If you take a look at your resource tree, there is sounds. So the first thing we need to do is create a sound. So you could either right click on sound and create sound or you could go to resources and create sound. So we need to give the name for a sound. So remember the naming conventions I start in class for sound. I'm going to write it as SND and then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it as click ball. So that means every time I click on the ball, this is the sound that I need. So I'm going to click on this open folder and I'm going to go to my desktop. That's where my sound is. This is given by uh, one of my students, Jonathan Pardo. And I'm going to go to audio and I'm going to go to SE. I know what sound I'm looking for. So I'm going to either select chime 2. Let's see it. And then press OK. So now if you see in my sounds folder, I have sound click ball. Let's create one more sound. Go to resources, create sound, and I'm going to call it as SNT, and then I'm going to say click ball 2. This is my second sound for click ball, and I'm going to click on open folder, and I'm going to uh, go to the folder, look for the sound that I need. And I'm going to look for another sound for decision 3. I'm going to select the sound and click on open. And then press OK. So for click ball, now I have two sounds. So when I run my game, when I click on the ball, it should make a sound. So the first thing we need to go and look for action where I click the ball. So I'm going to go to my objects. I'm going to go open up the properties for object yellow ball. And when I left press, this is my event. When I left press the mouse, left pressed. And this is my action, destroy the instance. So just before destroy the instance, we're going to add the sound. So my sound should be in main one, actions tab. I'm going to select main one and then sounds is here the first one is play sound i'm going to drag this and drop it just above destroy the instance and then sound it's going to ask you to select a sound i'm going to select the first one sound click ball and the second one is loop make sure the loop is set to false because every time i click on the ball i should just hear one sound I don't want the sound to be repeating over and over, over and over again. I just want the sound to play once and be done. So make sure the loop is set to false. Press OK. Press OK. Now let's test and see. So I'm going to run it. And then every time I click on the ball, it makes a sound. Bye. <laughs>